Hey, this is Tyler from SpectraCal, now part of Portrait Displays. In this video, I'm going to show you how to use the HD Fury Integral 4K60 device to generate HDR10 metadata to properly calibrate and measure an HDR10 consumer display. First of all, you need an existing pattern generator fed through the Integral, and the Integral is going to inject the HDR10 metadata into the HDMI stream. So you still need a pattern generator of some kind. So I'm using our SpectraCal Virtual Forge, but then I'm also going to connect to the integral as a display. So I'm going to go to Find Source, and I'm going to select AV Top Controller as the manufacturer and model HD Fury Integral. If you have the AV Top software, Calman can control the integral directly. If you don't, then you need to copy and paste the HDMI hex strings from Calman into the HD Fury's application manually. So I'm going to hit connect. And now I'm going to select HDR10 in the drop down here. And that's going to enable all our metadata. By default, these are the ones we recommend. You can play around and feed the display other metadata to see how it behaves with different types of metadata, different luminances, different minimum black levels, different mastering display, color primaries. We're also sending an AVI info frame to tell the TV that this is Rec 2020 content. So you also need to do that as well. Now for that process, you need to know what color format you're sending out of your pattern generator. On this particular pattern generator, Virtual Forge, I have it set to output YCBCR422. So for the BT2020 AVI format, I need to select 422. And then that changes the AVI info frame string we want. And then this is our HDR mastering display metadata string. So now I'm going to bring up the HD Furies uh, application and I want to click on the HDR tab. Now I want to copy and paste our AVI info frame to the AVI info frame area and then our HDR info frame and paste that into the HDR info frame area. And now we're going to select Force HDR Always Active and then replace AVI. Now you need to make sure that your audio is set to jack so then it always is sending it. If that's not to set to jack then it will send the info frame once. So the TV will go in and then it will go out of HDR mode. So you want to make sure that your audio source is set to jack. So now in Calman switch back to your normal pattern generator and go through the HDR calibration workflow and the HD Fury will be constantly injecting that mastering display metadata. Thanks for watching this video, and don't forget, please subscribe to our YouTube channel. And if your all access is expired, make sure you renew it to get the latest and greatest features in Calman.